Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me again, Chad. With ever growing types of activity books being published by low content booksellers, you need to do everything you can to differentiate yourself from the competition. The first way to do that is by making your cover stand out, but you probably already know that, which is why today we are going to take a look at three different types of puzzles that you can create using BookBolt. If you know low content books, then you know that puzzle activity books command the highest prices, have a great sell-through rate, and are a great foundation for any KDP business on Amazon. So in this video, we're going over how to create Nurikabe, Hangman, and Mindfinder. Oh, if you don't have Book Bolt yet, I've included a link in the description that will give you a 20% discount. By the way, if you're new to my channel, welcome and be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post one of these educational videos. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, so first puzzle we're going to create is called Nurikabe. Nurikabe is a logic puzzle with a bit complicated rules and challenging solutions. There are lots of books that are starting to go pop up on Amazon that are using this type of puzzle, either as a complete book or combined with other puzzle types to create really good activity book on KDP. People who are buying brain game activity books on KDP through Amazon are often excited to try something new, but chances are if you have not heard of this puzzle type or many others have not either, which makes them a great addition to any activity book. All right, so once you're logged into PuzzleWiz, just click Nurikabe here on the left-hand menu, this one, and it's a very easy puzzle to create just like the other puzzles here. You just need to select some options and click on submit. First things first, you can select bleed or no bleed. Let's just leave it at bleed. And then the sizes, you can have 5 by 8, 6 by 9, and 8.5 by 11. I like mine to be 6 by 9. If I do activity books for kids, I normally use 8.5 by 11 inches. It's personal preference and any size you deem appropriate is okay. Now you have the page style. It says double-sided or single-sided. Just choose the default there. And for the pages, you can kick this up to how many pages you want. For tutorial purposes, let's keep it at five. And now we get to pick our font. And uh, there are some check boxes here as well. These are Google fonts, by the way. And you can see how they look over here. You can play around on what will look best on your puzzle. Okay, so let's just say, I'll, let's do Gavada. And this is how it will look. Now you need to pick if you want to include solutions or match puzzles and solution page numbers and page numbers. So if you have lots of uh, pages, you may want to include this. And I always like to include the solutions page so that if the end customer on Amazon gets stuck on the puzzle, they can always flip through the pages to see the correct outcome. And if you want to match a puzzle and solution page numbers and page numbers, you just click this one. Then all you have to do is click on submit. And it says here your document is being processed and please wait. We'll refresh the page for you once it's ready. Sometimes it could take a while, especially if you have lots of pages. Now it says download your last document. So you just click on that one and then download and save it. And this is how it looks. So you have all this and the solutions page would be here. And I highly recommend that you add a page inside of your book before your puzzles that explain the rules and then create your own PDF interior page explaining the rules, which you can then combine with your puzzle interiors. This is a very good puzzle book to create as a full book, but I like to have them inside of an activity book that gives the book a little bit of variety and some are throwing in different types of puzzles inside PuzzleWiz, making their book really stand out in the market. The second puzzle type is a childhood and adult favorite. Hangman, while every other puzzle type is focused strictly on a single end user, it can be super fun for the person who ends up purchasing their book on KDP to share their joy of puzzles and games with other people. Not only that, but this type of puzzle makes for a great activity to pass the time on long plane or car rides. While most people will simply draw out a hangman on their on a regular piece of paper, using BookBolt's puzzle whiz to create this will allow you to import your own words which makes it even more interesting for the people completing the puzzle. So to get started you simply log into PuzzleWiz again and click on Hangman from the left hand menu this and this puzzle type does require a CSV file to be uploaded so it says he'll file 
should be separated into sections per page by an empty line and the number of sections should match the page count. Just read on this one. And they also have an example file provided. So uh, simply click on the link and open up the example file in either Excel or Google Sheets as a free alternative and then fill it out with your own words. And this is actually what the CSV looks like. I have it in numbers, right? So anyway, we'll just use that one in this tutorial. And you have to remember that when you save the file, you have been working onto your computer before you upload it to Puzzle. You must save it as a CSV. So now we just simply select our options and upload the file and click on submit. So just select the file and then uh, upload it. You can choose a bleed and no bleed. And again, I'm just going to choose six by nine and then just double sided and let's say maybe 10. And then we can choose again the font and click on this and then just hit on submit. And again, once it says here that your file is, has been submitted and you can download your document, just download it and save it. And it will look like this. And the solution page I'll show you. So there you have it for Hangman. Okay, the third puzzle type is something that many of us probably spent way too much time playing as a kid, the Mindfinder puzzle. This is another puzzle type that will not require you to upload anything on your own, but simply select some, some options. And if you want to include solutions and page numbers, and finally click on Submit. So let's just click on Bleed or No Bleed, and then 6 by 9. I'll just leave it at double-sided. Maybe let's try 10 on this one and include something like this and then if we click on submit and download and save it later it will look something like this so in case you have never played this puzzle before the instructions are pretty straightforward each box that has a number means that box touches the number of minds so they cannot touch less or more than the number in each box so the user can go through this fun brain game and select which boxes contain the minds and i always prefer to include solutions at the end of the puzzle in case the user gets stuck so this would be the solutions page it will be something like this Wrapping this up, you now have three new puzzle books to start creating with your unique covers or start mixing and matching these different puzzle interiors to create an activity book and there is no shortage of combinations. Book Bolt has a lot of puzzle generators as you can see right over here. I think they already have like 14 or something to date. So have fun creating and let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you're new to KDP or just creating and want to learn more, I have a course that will show you how to get started with KDP in a day and how you can publish a book within a day. I will put the link in the description below. So please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and like and share this on social media as well. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care now. Keep watching and keep learning. Bye!